This, my viewers, is Red Bull Hardline, one of the most gnarliest downhill races in the world. This course has it all, from big jumps to gnarly sections. I'm gonna find out how big these things are and how fast you have to actually go to hit these huge jumps. So join me in Red Bull Hardline in numbers. Holy, holy mackerel. This thing, I'm speechless, this thing is so big. This is what they call the cannon, and it definitely fires you out of the Blackwoods down onto this motorway section where I'm guessing the speeds is insane. I'm actually gobsmacked how big this thing is. It's, in, it's, in, it's, in, it's, it, 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 oh, it's insane. Where's my tape measure? Where is it? Okay, sweet spot. About there, that's pretty much where I think the dudes are gonna land. And I'll be back in a bit with the results. Wow, I nearly run out of tape. <laughs> Considering you have to come through that gnarly section there, flat out off the brakes, 57 foot. That's, that's massive. There's a headwind, so you're gonna have to go that little bit more faster to clear this gap. Right, this drop is a bit of a technical one. It's quite big, but it is a slow speed drop. You know, it's not a high speed one where if you're going fast, you kind of land and all your momentum is pushed through the bike and down the landing, whereas this one, you're kind of plopping off quite a high height and landing, and it's all going through your body. The question is, how big is this drop? So I'm gonna take about that much and fling her down there. Right, it's about level from where you take off out. That's 11 foot, give or take two foot on top of that, so 13 foot to sweet spot on that drop. It's quite a big drop, kind of not far out. You're probably traveling about eight foot out. Right, not as big as that step down into that huge step up up the top that we've just taken a look at. But everything is pretty big on this course. There's nothing very small on here. So I'm gonna try and put this into perspective. This is a big step down into a huge berm, into a huge step up down the bottom. I'm gonna call in Steve. He's gonna help me. He's gonna hold this end of the tape. Hi, right, Steve. One of the marshals on this segment. I'm gonna go down there and get the numbers. I reckon about, about there's about sweet spot. 45 foot. Right out on course, there's a few iconic obstacles, especially this one, yeah, this is the huge step up. And I'm super curious on how fast, and you're probably wondering, how fast do you have to go to actually clear this jump? Well, I've got one of these little machines right here that shows how fast you are actually going. So I'm gonna get a rough speed guide on how fast they actually have to go to hit that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna get a few numbers for you, put this thing into perspective, how big, how long, how high do you actually go on that obstacle? Wow, 40. That's average. I've been doing it. 40, 41, pretty good. Over 41, there was a big over jump. So prime, let's do this one. Oh, there you go. Look at that, bang on, 40. That's the speed to get to clear that jump. That's fast, especially on a mountain bike. So I've hooked this up right here, stuck the tape measure in. I'm gonna measure the complete length of this jump because it's ginormous. So here we go. Forty-five feet. But that kicker, that takeoff, is eleven feet high from the ground. Then you're stepping up probably eight feet. But then you've got a huge case pad up here. So that you've got six foot of case pad, seven foot of case pad before you get to the sweet spot. So there's a lot of error, a lot of room for error if you don't have the speed. If you're coming in at 38 mile an hour, you can use this case pad. This is the boardwalk to what I like to call the Hollywood feature of Red Bull Hardline. It's this mammoth road gap. I'm pretty nervous to get to the end though. Look at it. You're going flat out into this and then you've got that berm down there to catch you. I've got weak knees sitting up here. It's massive. But I'm going to try and measure this as well as I can. So what I'm going to do is put this on the edge I'm just going to hook that in there and literally see sayonara. <laughs> sayonara, dude. Okay, right. So straight down to about 
this level right here is 20 foot just to give it in a bit more of a perspective so from my height going out it's probably adding another six foot to that so that's 26 foot from the top of that to the road level but then the the trajectory of the rider traveling through the air it's like everyone's landing about three foot down i'm guessing where everyone's landing is the sweet spot there about 55 foot from the top of that there to around here wow right this is the last obstacle on this course and it's a massive long and low jump you're coming off this grassy turn a little bit off camber but you're going to have to keep that speed to completely clear this whole jump it's fast so from sweet spot to sweet spot i'm going to measure it and give you an insight on how big this thing is so from about here got the measuring tape out again i reckon sweet spot is about there but an over jump okay 50 foot 52 foot i reckon that's where about you don't want to land right on top so about 52 foot gap wow so there you go red bull hardline course with a few numbers chucked in there hopefully i've given you guys a bit more of a perspective on how big these things are and how fast they have to go to hit these obstacles out there on this track but if you want to see another video click down here for the winning bike from last year bernard kerr and if you want to see another rad video click down here for mr martin ashton where he shreds whistler it's an insane video so go there check that out and don't forget to click this rad little glow right here and you'll subscribe and you'll get a video just like this every day of the week. And don't forget, if you do love this video, give it a thumbs up, like.